Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. All right, welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Madden Money Shot, bringing you some more Madden 18 Day One sleepers. That's right, budget beast middle linebackers. These are the user middle linebackers that you guys can afford. Uh, that are going to give you an advantage when it comes to gameplay day one, so you can get some wins, get some dubs. Uh, we're looking at the top 10 middle linebackers here. I mean, I would love to have any one of these guys. Uh, but chances are they're going to be ridiculously expensive, especially when the game starts out. So unless you're lucky and pull them in a pack or something, uh, I'm going to show you a couple of guys that um, are, you know, fast, good hit power, uh, the important things, good acceleration, the important things that matter when it comes to a good user middle linebacker, and it won't cost you an arm and a leg. So let's go ahead and let's get into it right away. Starting off number one, we got Ray Lewis. Now, I know this isn't necessarily a budget beast because it's an 84 overall, but you can't get much cheaper than free. If you're buying the GOAT edition this year, you get to pick between five GOATs, and Ray Lewis might be one of the best ones. I'm actually leaning towards possibly picking Ray Lewis, and I'll tell you why. Uh, this guy right here, 80 speed, that's actually one of the higher speeds right now. I think the highest overall speed is 85, but the majority of middle linebackers I saw were in the mid-70 range. Uh, one of the things that really makes this guy stand out is that hit power. It, even though it's a free card, it's one of the highest hit powers I've seen out of linebackers in the game. Uh, his block shedding, 85. Tackling, 85. Uh, they're all really good. His strength, though, at 84 is five points higher than any linebacker in the game right now. So strength really matters when it comes to playing the run. Uh, and this guy, is, he has it in spades. So that's a really good um, attribute to have. Like I said, the, the second highest one was a 79, so he's that much higher. And then his zone coverage is pretty good, too. So if you leave him to play by himself, he's going to do a pretty good job. Either way, um, it's either this guy or Deion Sanders for me, but there's, there's not a lot. Of competition after that i think these are the best two cards ray lewis is definitely a good pick if that's who you choose coming up next we got hassan reddick the rookie middle linebacker from the arizona cardinals they've got two really fast user middle linebackers in the middle but Dion buchanan is going to be the much more expensive one this one here is a 76 overall because he's a rookie that's actually pretty high for a rookie uh, but he's six foot one his speed is an 83 like i said the highest i've seen is an 85 so that'll get it done for sure 84 acceleration uh, which is important. Acceleration is important. When you change the directions, agility, 81, that's important. Uh, his jumps in 81, that's pretty good too. So this guy is going to be perfect for a pass coverage middle linebacker. He's also got 71 hit power, that's pretty good. Uh, his zone coverage is okay if you leave him to play by himself from time to time. And his catch is a 66. Next up is a guy a lot of people have known about for some time, Xavier Gooden. Uh, this guy here was a silver card last year, although they changed the rating structure, and he was also faster last year, which they've also dropped the speed of a lot of people, but he's still coming in as one of the fastest middle linebackers in the game. His 82 speed is, like I said, three points off the max. His 85 acceleration is one of the highest, 83 jump, 81. He's got all the physical attributes, which is really all that matters. Hit power is a 70, that's pretty decent. His coverages are okay uh, in the 60s range, like I said, that's mirroring a safety. Uh, and his catch is a 61, so he should have pretty decent hands. Next up, we got our first elite here, Jatavius Brown. I'm not sure if he'll be a budget beast or if people be on, be wise to him. I mean, he's an A2 overall, which isn't, you know, it's kind of hidden a little bit low. It's, it's barely an elite. So we'll see if people are wise to him. But either way, uh, one downside is he's not too tall, but his speed is A2. Uh, 83 acceleration, 80 jump, 79 hit power. So he's almost cracking an 80 hit power. Uh, 81 tackling, and pursuits an 80. I mean, they're all, you know, in the 80 range. And then his zone coverage is an 80. So if you don't play with him, say you're using an outside linebacker that play or a safety that play, he's going to hold his own zone uh, by himself. All his stats are really good. Coming up next, we got Miles Jack. This is a guy that I'm probably going to be picking pretty early on day one, unless I pick uh, the free Ray Lewis. But at six foot one, he's not. He's just under an elite at 79 overall. So he's gold. A lot of people might, might not see him, might not look at him. But he's got 81 speed, 84 excel, 85 jump. Uh, all the physical attributes are there. 82 agility. Uh, and then one of his better things is his hands. Six, seven hands is pretty high. Coming up next, we got another second-year player, Darren Lee. This guy here was a uh, first-round pick last year. He's a 74 gold. At six foot one, he's got all the speed attributes that I've been talking about. 81 speed, 82 excel, 83 agility, 80 jump. Uh, so this guy's got all the physical skills that if you're a good elite user, um, you can make this guy happen and make him work out. 74 hit power is not bad too. Next up, we got one more height and speed guy. We got six foot two Demario Davis. Now his speed, 81 speed, 83 excel plus 81 jump. That combination of height and jump is probably one of the higher that I've seen. Uh, but like I say, he's all about this is all about speed. Good hit power, good pursuit, good tackling, good play rec, good strength at 79. Like I said, 79 is the second highest strength in the game at middle linebacker right now. Coming up next, we got Jared Davis from the Detroit Lions, the rookie, six foot one. 236 pound guy, um, you know, nice, nice size there. 
Uh, but what puts this guy on the list is 79 speed is a little bit lower than I would want. Typically, I want anything over 80 speed. Uh, but I had to put him on here because his 84 acceleration makes up for that. And his 85 jump with that 6 foot 1 frame is going to be really nice. Those are pretty elite right now as far as middle linebackers go. All right, so that's it. That's the list. If you guys want to see more videos like this, hit the like button, and I will do that. Other than that, if you want to give me some ideas in the comment section, I, I'll take them as well. And that's it. Thanks for watching Mad Moy Shout out.